everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've been sitting down and actually talking with you guys so I thought that I would do my makeup. I don't know why I'm doing my makeup because I'm not doing anything today. I have no idea what I'm gonna do for my look yet. I think I'm just gonna do some glitter and some heavy lips maybe but uh, let's see how this evolves throughout the video. <laughs> I asked you on my Instagram to send me some like questions about what you kind of want to hear me talk about. So you guys did it and if you haven't yet followed me, my username is just Cecil underscore AB. It's also linked down below. Um, anyways, let's get started. One thing that I've been hearing so much recently is that my skin has been getting a lot better and I do agree except for this one that appeared two days ago but other than that Yes, I agree, and that's because of skin oils. Like, honestly, I've been using so many oils these days, and now you might think, it's summer, and you're using oils. Why aren't you breaking out? And um, I don't know the science, but it works. So um, this one is my favorite. I have a lot of different ones, but this is uh, the Yurang one. I like to take a few drops, and then just in my hand. Wait, let me um okay that's how I look ridiculous <laughs> anyways um, let's continue then I'm just going in with some moisturizer and this one is from Aromatica so I'm going in with my favorite foundation these days which is VDL perfecting last foundation and this one is as I said in the other video, the lightest foundation I've ever seen, so it fits me very well. Since my skin is pretty fine, I don't do much. Um, because this foundation is kind of high coverage, I feel like, so it's gonna clump up pretty easily. Then I'm taking my newly cleaned beauty blender and putting on some serum um, mist on it. So the main kind of questions you guys were asking was kind of just about how am I in general and um, yeah I must say I am really really good I mean I'm feeling great I have great friends and I have good work and things are really really good but for some reason I'm I'm very sad these days and I know why, because I recently started the pill because I had to regulate my, my period. Um, and I need to change those pills to another brand because I am like crying for nothing all the time and it's really, really frustrating. And it's not really because, you know, I'm legit sad. It's just because every single thing makes me really emotional. But other than that, I'm in a really, really, really good place. I have amazing people around me and I'm just really thankful for where I am in my life right now. For those of you wondering, no I didn't magically grow my hair, um, I am wearing a wig and it's from Pink Age which is where I get, I usually got a lot of my wigs from. I also have like this top wig that only like is the top of the hair and then it has bangs so every time you guys see me with bangs on my Instagram and such, not real honey boo. <laughs> Because my hair is too thin, honestly, every time I got bangs just didn't work out, so... Let's move on to concealer, and... Oh, it looks a little dirty. Um, this is Espoir Concealer in the lightest color. And um, I'm just gonna take it under my eyes and on these, like, these little spots I have. But yeah. Um, I'm gonna change that peel and then if it doesn't, like... If I don't get better, then I'm just gonna stop on the pill at all. I'm gonna set my foundation and my concealer with this powder from Too Cool for School. It's very, very compact. Like I've been, I've been like dropping this many, many times, and it's like never breaking. <laughs> so another thing you guys asked me a lot about was my like future plans in Korea and you know how long I've, I've, I'm planning to stay. And so I've been here now. I've been living here for almost nine months. I was actually planning on maybe living here for three years or something because I kind of knew that I would at some point have to go and get my education because, you know, I didn't even go to university yet. I was just going straight out of high school, gymnasium it's called, and then I worked for a year and then I moved here. And now I've almost been here for a year, so um, I'm starting to feel a little pressured about having to take my 
my university exam, my, my bachelor's degree. The reason why I'm starting to think about going back now is because my like best friend here in Korea, like best friend, I'm literally hanging out with that person pretty much every single day. And like that person is moving away for a few years now and honestly I don't know what to do here now without that person here. I'm just gonna jump into the eyebrows. This is Dear Dahlia eyebrow pencil. I didn't know that person before like six months ago or something. So it hasn't been that long since I met that person and I did have a life here before that person appeared, but I mean, it's just, you know, when you just connect with someone so well and you, you're you just getting to know each other so well and you're, becoming really really good friends I'm just I don't know like I've been leaving my friend group in Denmark once before and it wasn't easy and now I oh my god I'm gonna mess up my makeup see this is what I mean with me being so emotional why am I crying about this but that's why I'm thinking about maybe maybe going back to Denmark I mean, it's not something that I want to do now because I definitely want to give it a shot here without that person first because if I just go because that person is not here, that's just gonna, that's just a stupid touristy soul. So I'm, I'm definitely gonna take a year more. Um, so I'm gonna get my visa renewed and then I'm thinking about leaving around like summer 2020. You know, I also have to go home and I have to find an apartment and such in Copenhagen. Oh my God, that's gonna be so expensive. <laughs> I'm so used to cheap rent. This is not gonna be easy. <sighs> okay, let me finish these eyebrows. I've been talking too much. Are these even? They don't look even. I'm just gonna move on to some shading. And this one I've never used before, so I thought it would be fun to use this in this video. It's from Colligram and it's called Sweet Shading. I am using this one from Pony Effect. You guys are asking a lot about my brushes. So the pink ones that I have, like the ones I used for um, powdering, is from 3CE and the, the gold ones are from Pony Effect. So I like them, they're tiny, so they're great for like packing in my little purse. Cause when I'm staying over with friends and such, I'm always bringing them in my little bag and to photo shoots and such. It has both a light and a dark color, which is great so that I can focus more on the light side. Cause if I go very dark, it's just gonna be too dark on me. I'm using a really light hand because I'm very scared of this becoming too dark. The reason why I'm not studying in Korea, there is a few reasons. So the first one is that from what I've heard from Danish people studying their full education in Korea, it's not as high level. It's, it's there's focus on different stuff. Like for example, my, my friend is studying some international business relations and um, she's on her master's degree, like master's degree. And uh, she just had a test in second world war. And because I'm from Denmark, I feel like second world war is something that we learned in fifth grade. Um, so there's just like focus on some different stuff that since I had the first part of my education in Denmark, it would just only make sense academically to finish it in Denmark as well. Um, the second part is that in Denmark, our taxes are so incredibly high because we have free healthcare and free university and uh, like all your education. So, you know, I have never saved up money and my parents have never saved up money for a university degree because, you know, you don't need to. So um, it would be incredibly expensive for me if I should suddenly like put in these money. I mean, I don't even have the money. It's so freaking expensive. But enough about education. I'm already getting tired of it by talking about it. So <laughs> so I have wanting to do like a glitter eyeshadow using this creamy base, like bronze color. A lot of you guys asked me about mm, self-confidence. And um, honestly, I don't have a lot of, of that these days. Um, mainly because I'm, you know, I'm just not comfortable in my own skin right now and definitely gaining weight has something to do with it. 
People keep, keep asking me if I lost weight because my face looks slimmer, but my body has been gaining... For some reason, this eyeshadow won't stick exactly on the middle of my eyelid. What the heck is that? You know what? This eyeshadow is very bad. So I'm just gonna wipe this off and come right back and um, put on another eyeshadow because this is horrible. I am going to go in with this palette. This is from Holika Holika. And I actually got this palette while filming for uh, a YouTube show called Beauty Station. Um, it's a Korean show. Um, where the MC is Shinlim. I don't know if you know her. I think I'm gonna go in with this light peachy color and um, then build up with some of the other colors around here on the on the outside. So yeah, the whole confidence thing. I don't, as I said, have a good confidence right now. And my confidence has always built up a lot regarding my body. Um, Cause I have never really, apart from the from the time where I had like acne, felt insecure about my face that much. But my body has already has always been like a personal struggle of mine. You can barely see this color at all. <laughs> it's really not about that. I try to reach my ideal body, and I know that that time I would be happy. It's not about that. So, so what I try to focus on is that if I'm just improving and if I'm enjoying how I'm, in, how I'm improving and the way I'm improving, that is what's gonna make me happy. I feel like I've been talking about like enjoying the process instead of aiming for the end goal is um, the right thing that's gonna make you the most happy. I think I've been talking about that before on my channel, but I still practice and preach it a lot and um, I know that if I'm just living healthily and living in a way that's nourishing for my body and for my mind especially, if I just know that I'm living like that and I can feel it, then I will be happier regardless of how I look in this current state. Moving on, I'm going to try to add a little more color to this um, by taking this reddish color right here. I'm taking the color very lightly because I know that I want to add another darker color as well. Some people, if it's on purpose or if it's not, is gonna make you feel worse about yourself. And if you are dealing with, you know, some issues towards yourself, then that person is not adding any value to your life at all. Because the most important person to you should be you. So you should put yourself in the first rank in those situations. Um, and getting rid of people in your life is the most difficult thing that I have ever done and that I'm pretty sure that everybody else has done as well but it's very necessary to move on and to kind of grow I would say I think I want a little more here in the outer corner so I'm gonna take from the same palette the brown color so my goal with the darker color here is to extend the lash line and making my lashes look thicker A personal thing of mine to do is to apply some glitter to the inner like tear duct down here and that is just really one of making your eyes I mean they just look so cute after you did it and they look bigger and they look more awake so I'm gonna take my Colligram um, little eyeshadow here it's really really glittery pigmented I'm taking a little bit and just applying it in here I can see I also got some questions about modeling um, for new followers, I am doing modeling here in Korea as well besides YouTube. But actually these days I don't really do a lot of it because you know, I've been both on Jeju and I was on Mal in Maldives and um, I've been doing a lot of YouTube lately because I'm also preparing to go on a, like a 19 day trip with my family. Then we're gonna go to Japan together as well. So yeah, I'm not doing much modeling these days because I really want to focus on YouTube. After all, YouTube is my main job. I only do modeling as like a side thing and also for the exposure because it's it's good exposure if you are trying to like build a following. Oh, by the way, I'm using the Innisfree Always New Auto Liner. This is in brown color. I feel like it matches the warm tones. I just drew a rough eyeliner and I'm gonna take a, um, like a brush here and just blending it out. So yeah, I don't really have any clothing shots these days and I don't want to because I don't feel comfortable. Um, 
so I do like skincare, makeup, jewelry, accessories. I do those kind of like shoots. Now, time to take the pill that messes me up. When this pack is over, I swear I'm gonna change brand and if that doesn't work within like a few weeks, maybe a month, I'm just gonna completely not be on this anymore. Because it's not worth it if I feel like this at all. Mascara. And I have a surprise for you guys because I am not using the same pony mascara again. Um, at the beauty show that I was telling you about a little earlier, I got another mascara and I have never heard about this brand before. It's called Mercy. Mary? Mercy? I'm not sure. It looks like this. Right, I'm gonna find it online and I'm gonna link it down below. Everything is linked down below, so. So new mascaras are, I, I like always a little tricky for me, I feel like, because they're so wet and they kind of get everywhere. So when I apply this, I'm being really, really careful. Okay, so that's it for the eyes. Actually, I guess we're done with that. So um, these days I've been really loving this um, little compact thing from um, Dear Dahlia. Dear Dahlia, by the way, is um, the vegan Korean makeup brand. That's kind of how I like it. <laughs> but um, one of the sides is this creamy, dark rose color. It's so gorgeous and I've been using it for the cheeks. I have no idea if you're supposed to use this for eyes or lips or cheeks, but it works on the cheeks, so that's what I like it to do. I put some on my finger and I just dab on my skin and you know, just blend out with my fingers as well. It has a gorgeous color. Look at this. Oh my god, pretty. <laughs> Is this evenly applied? Hmm. Yeah. Now this look has a warm feel, so I am just going to go in with my um, Prism Air Clio highlighter. This one is in a gold color. Cheekbones, nose back, and just on the edge of the eyebrows. And I usually do some on Cupid's bow and on the chin as well. This honestly will forever be my favorite highlighter. It's so beautiful. Okay, last up, I really want to do like a dark lip. So it's really like a dark, rich, brownish red. You can see here. Gorgeous. This is a beautiful color. Oh my God, I love this so much. Mm, I think I'm ready to let my bangs down and um, then I can show you guys the awkward part where I'm like posing. <laughs> Actually, I like this look without bangs more. So that's it of this makeup look. I really love how it turned out. I think it kind of reminds me of the sunset. But yeah, if you liked it, don't forget to thumbs up. Comment down below whatever you think about this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye!